Yellowstone, the supervolcano that sits on the Ring of Fire. Experts say Yellowstone eruption can trigger a chain of aftershocks over thousands of years. A Yellowstone volcano eruption in the northwest U.S. could trigger a deadly chain of eruptions and aftershocks tens of thousands of years after the first blast. This is what the shocking uh, evidence of the new finding states. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express today. Uh, volcano studies around the globe found supervolcanoes do not act as regular volcanoes and supervolcanoes do not stop activity after blowing up in a super eruption as regular volcanoes. They don't act like regular volcanoes whatsoever. There are earthquakes and their magma, everything is different. The supervolcano, even a, a nearby earthquake can uh, rupture the huge magma chamber roof and cause uh, an eruption from what uh, one of the latest studies has found. Now, a supervolcano system like Yellowstone volcano would likely continue to erupt and spew volcanic material centuries after its initial eruption tears through the United States. This is according to a study published by Oregon State University, OSU. Super eruptions, they say, are among the most devastating cataclysm known to man. And if you see one of my previous videos yesterday having to do with ash, it's, it's uh, tens of stories of ash. I mean, you know, it's whole mountains, mountains of ash. Can you imagine a whole area covered with mountains of ash that high. It's unbelievable. So according to the study, super eruptions are among the most devastating cataclysm known to man. Super volcanoes have been known to choke out the skies and affect global weather for decades after erupting. Meaning, of course, that life as we know it, or the known life at that time, would be extinct. So now, because of this, University of Oregon researchers have investigated the suspected links between the recent volcanic blasts and ancient eruptions. The scientists found a connection between the eruption of Mount Sinabung in Indonesia and an eruption of Toba Caldera from 74,000 years ago. Now, it seems to me that a lot has happened 74, 70,000 years ago. We had the Long Valley eruption, we had the Valles Caldera eruption, we had the Yellowstone smaller eruption than the huge super eruption that we had 640,000 years ago, and we had the Sinemung and the Toba Caldera eruption from 74,000 years ago. It seems to me that there was a huge amount of volcano and super volcano activity around that time. I wonder if uh, something happened to the tectonic plates subsiding place. There, there must have been a lot of shaking around. Now, Adonara Musek, the study's lead author at OCU said, the recovery from a supervolcanic eruption is a long process. We're talking about supervolcanoes. And we even see the regular volcanoes are very uh, uh, bubbly and, and uh, they're, they're full of activity even though their, their eruption has ceased. They, re they re-erupt. We see that again in uh, Venezuela and Chile, and uh, just now posted a, a Mexico volcano eruption. Now, uh, the recovery from supervolcano eruption is a long process, as the volcano and the magmatic system try to re-establish their equilibrium. It's like a body of water that has been disrupted by a rock being dropped into it. Quote, at Toba, it appears that the eruptions continued for at least 15,000 to 20,000 years after the supervolcano eruption. And the, the supervolcano eruption is called a super eruption. So after the super eruption and the structural adjustment continued at least until a few centuries ago, and probably is continuing today, can you imagine? After 20,000 years. So it is a magmatic equivalent to aftershocks following an earthquake. It's the same thing with an eruption. There's more eruptions going on. Now, when Toba last reared its ugly head, the volcano released 28,000 times, 28,000 times more magma than the 1980 eruption on Mount St. Helens in the United States. 
The resulting volcanic winter is believed to have lasted for years, and scientists speculate it placed a bottleneck on human evolution. Well, I should think so. Worse yet, supervolcanoes like Yellowstone and Toba have incredibly long lifespans, far longer than humanity has been on this planet. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.